What's this, your latest midlife crisis? Yeah, you know it is. Hi guys, hope you're all well. I've been a bit disloyal to my vacuum collection lately, as you can see, with all these new goodies I got. I didn't forget about Mrs. Parwise. I did get her a fake aloe vera plant. So what? You are joking me! <laughs> so what I'm going to do is show you all these vacuums individually in action. A quick overview and first look. And also I've got this test carpet here as well to chuck some mess down and we can see how well they perform in their raw state. So this little Hoover is a JML Blast Vac Pro. I like this because, okay, it's a handheld here, which is boring, but that's not why I like it. The reason why I like it is because of the form factor. So it's a little, I see it as like a little canister vacuum, but without wheels, like a really, really portable one. And it has a hose, just like a cylinder or canister, whatever you want to call it. And then it's got its own floor tool as well. So that's pretty cool. Even though this is quite a rubbish machine, it actually is available in that form factor. So yeah, this is the cheap sole plate. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit like a Henry floor tool where it's got the twin pedal design and on hard floor mode, which you just push down now, these bristles stick out. So it allows for just the bristles to touch the hard floor, but really it doesn't do that because these bristles are not long enough for the sole plate to stop touching the hard floor basically. So it doesn't really work that well, but it is what it is. You got two cheap thin plastic ones which are really bendy by the way it actually had three originally but on the first use i actually managed to snap the top one so i've only got two now but that's still pretty cool because then it's even smaller which goes well with this tiny little vacuum so this is the hose design you got the suction control right there pretty thin handle you got a swivel end on the what's it called end of the hose and you also got one on the other end as well which is quite stiff but it's there then you can pull this hose off and attach your tool of choice so this is the brush attachment i actually got rid of the most of the tools because <laughs> they were all quite useless this is the best one that was available i think apart from the crevice tool as well which i don't know where it is but yeah that's a little brush attachment it does pull off there you go and then to empty it what you do is you press on this catch the motor unit separates then there's your filter in here so you pull that apart and there's your filter which will get clogged in fine dust so you're going to be emptying this thing quite frequently so that's the downside of this machine but anyways once you put that back in you can put the motor unit back on you can see the motor in there actually it's quite uh it's like a shark looking motor i think based on what i can see so far but i wouldn't be surprised if the motor does fit a shark because they use tiny motors anyways you know what i mean anyways yeah there's your power switch there's the ratings plate. It shows that it's 800 watts, so it's not weak on power. It's actually got pretty good suction, you know. On the back, you've got the exhaust vent, which is actually removable because it's got a little filter in here, which you, you can clean. But that's not the only reason. There's also a little, another one of these for you to clip on the back, and then you can attach your hose onto the back as well and then use it as a little blower to inflate things and it came with an inflatable attachment as well and other bits and bobs but i never see myself using this thing do you know what i mean because i've obviously got a kirby which does a way better job enough rambling on let's switch this on and show you how it works so so not terrible got some suction to it, hasn't it? So as you can see, it's quite rubbish. It doesn't do a good job at all. It is trying though, as you can see. Wow, it lost suction already. <laughs> the filter's clogged up with fine dust, as you can see, which is why that suction. <laughs> so yeah, that's the JML Blastvac Pro, which is quite a useless little machine, but it is pretty cool. The next one is this Dyson DCR1 Absolute. Let's get this out and plug it in. So it's not in pretty bad condition at all, really. It's got the original cable with the plug. I do like these cables and plugs because they go with the machine quite well and it adds to the character of the color scheme so let's just plug it in really quickly i got this off a good friend of mine actually you know what i got this 
the Vax 121, that Hoover Whirlwind, that Hoover Hurricane, that DC-03 and the DC-15 off him as well. So anyways, here it is. You've got the no loss of suction sticker intact. The wand and hose. The hose isn't original, it's meant to be purple actually, but I have got a purple hose from a D-Stigil, which will fit onto this model. So that's nice, but the hose is in good condition though. As for the plastic color, the body's not too faded. It is faded though, but not really badly. So that's quite nice. And then the stickers are in fair condition for its age. Even the helpline stickers are uh, nice purple and yellow color. You've got the donut as well, which should be removed actually, because what it does, you know when you pull the cable, right? This is meant to reduce the strain. So that's why they added that on there, but Dyson realized it caused more problems than it actually solved. So they just stuck to the rubber cable grommet, which is also purple, that's nice. It only came with the crevice tool, but that's pretty cool. It's better than nothing. And as with the filters, the filter's quite clean. It's got an air freshener in there as well, but that's the sub-micron filter. And as for the pulse mode filter, that's missing. It hasn't got one, so I need to get one of them. But yeah, there's the ambitech motor in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. The base of the machine here, you've got the brush bar with not horrific bristles. These do actually groom the carpet quite well. The belt's in good condition as well. So yeah, not too bad condition-wise. It even has the rubber piece right there, which gives the, what's it called? The cradle, a bit of a springy feature. Even the glamour caps are intact on both sides. That's nice. There's your blockage inspection ports. And the serial number is right there. So it says it's made on the 29th of April, 1997. Let's see how it performs. So switch it on. Suction. Yeah, way well better than the blast box, bro. Look at that. So that's the DCR1 Absolute, and it works absolutely fine. Moving on to the next vacuum. So let's choose the next vacuum. I'm gonna go for the Hoover Hurricane. This is quite a nice machine, actually. Yes, it is modern Hoover, but I'd say it's one of the better machines that they made. This is straight from my shed, by the way, so it's quite grotty condition-wise. It is a really good clean, but it does work really well. I've used it for a while before I put it in the shed. So let's plug it in, and I'll show you how it works. So it's got the cable which is quite short unfortunately otherwise I would be using it more so let's plug that in there we are unfortunately the cable comes at the bottom so it's quite a pain to use so you gotta wrap the cable up not wrap it up just have to clip it onto the handle on the top just like that and now the cable's out the way it's got the turbo brush which is the only thing it came with but these turbo brushes aren't that good anyways because the bristles are really soft and they don't really spin that fast either, but I just put it on here for decoration purposes. You've got the hose, which is quite a nice design. Do you know what? The hose and wand is actually a pretty cool design for a non-Dyson, for like a cheap vacuum anyways. So what you do, you remove the hose, which is pretty long, I must say. It goes onto the end of the wand here. You can then remove the wand by pressing on this hand and release button that allows you to pull the entire thing out and then use it like, a DC07. So that's quite a nice handy feature, isn't it? This thing has a 2000 watt motor, so it's got really strong suction. In fact, the suction on this is pretty comparable to a DC08. So I'd say it's one of the most powerful machines they've made, I think. So removing the cyclone on the top right here, this is your entire unit. And then to empty it, it's quite a nice design as well, unlike other machines where you have to release the bin flap from the base. This one has it around the top, so you press this button right here and the bin just falls open like that yeah so you see now how nice it is to empty just press the button on the top and it all opens up like that and then to clean it out further you twist on the bin 
to unlock the cyclone unit, which is a single cyclone, but it's got a filter in there. So what you do is you turn on this lid from the filter, and then that enables you to access the filter. Then you twist on this mesh screen, then you've got your filter right there so you can wash it, and it shows the instructions on how to do it as well. Put your bin back on, close the bin flap, put it back in the machine, and that's your maintenance done. You've also got a HEPA filter. Actually, no, it's not a HEPA filter. It's just a pad. This is your pulse motor filter, which will capture some of the lint. It's not gonna capture any fine particles, but it's there at least, and it clips on the front like here. And that's it. So underneath, you've got the brush bar. It's not a bad brush bar at all, actually. You've got pretty stiff bristles, so it does a decent job at performance on carpets. As for hard floors, you can't turn this brush bar off at all. So you've got the brush bar spinning permanently, unless you take the belt off, but why would you do that, do you know what I mean? But yeah, the brush bar is a nice, decent stiffness, so it does work really well, and that's why I like it so much, because it performs well. Right, let's see how well this machine works. So you release it from this pedal on the side, and as for your on and off switch, that's on the opposite side. So it's quite a loud machine though, just to warn you. Yeah, you can see why I like this machine so much. It's really powerful. You can hear the brush bar panning the carpet. It's done a really good job at revitalizing the pile as well. And as for the roll suction, that's also pretty strong. So that's the Hoover Hurricane 2000 watt bagless pet upright vacuum cleaner. This is a Hoover Wellwind modern cheap Hoover. <laughs> I don't like these at all. I thought I would, but nah, I don't like these. The only thing I do like about this is how incredibly lightweight it is. So if you ever picked up a DC24, a DC50 or a Vax Air or something similar, you know how light they are. But this is a whole other league of being lightweight. I can literally lift it with my pinky finger. That's how light it is. It feels like there's no motor in it at all, even though it has got a motor. So it just goes to show how cheap the plastics are in this. But I do like it, how light it is, so that's nice. But the cable on this is even shorter than the Hoover Hurricane. Makes it almost impossible to vacuum a large living room. Nothing really much to say about this machine. It's pretty basic, nothing special about it. The hose is nice and flexible, though. It is a bit longer compared to the Vax Air, but it falls over when you're using it because it's so lightweight and it comes out the top as well so it's more likely to pull the machine back but the whole suction is it's all right but nothing amazing it's not really strong at all really but it will do something then you gotta turn this hose to lock it into place you've got this vial brush attachment and that's just on there. But it does work okay. Actually, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I just realised why I don't like it so much. Let me just put some dirt down so I can show you. So let me just quickly show you the brush bar first. So it has got nice stiff bristles, right? But for some reason, it just doesn't stick to the carpet that well. Which is weird because on hard floors, you can hear it sealing down to the floor. But on carpets, it hasn't got the power to clamped down to the carpet even though the brush bar is decent it doesn't groom that well either but you have got these rubber squeegees on the front and back so that's a nice addition but i feel like because it's so stiff it lifts the head off the floor a bit so it's hard to say if i like this machine or not you've got no height adjustment either so it's just flat to the floor at all times 
And as for the Cyclone and Bin, it's also quite similar to the Hoover Hurricane, but worse actually, you've got to undo this clip at the bottom and then all the dirt falls out. You have to touch the dust basically to empty this thing out, which I hate. So it's another vile design. And then to clean this out, it's just like Hoover Hurricane. So you twist off the lid, there's your filter, sorry, the shroud, and the filter's inside, in there. It's just a pleated filter, by the way, so it's gonna get clogged up quite quickly. So let's put this back on. It's quite a faff, to be honest, but it's gotta be done, otherwise you'll lose suction. So enough rambling on, let's clean up this mess. So switching it on. With the hose, I'm gonna clean up the fluff, then for the remainder of the fine dust, I'm gonna use the brush bar. It is pretty quiet though, that's one thing I do like about it. So it doesn't clean as well as the Hoover Hurricane. So as you saw that the Hoover Hurricane did vibrate the carpet, this one doesn't do it at all. And it's still leaving bits behind because it's not as powerful as the Hoover Hurricane either. And I've gone over this a few times, there's still bits in the carpet. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there are bits in the carpet. So yeah, that's the Hoover Whirlwind. I'm not gonna be keeping this one. I thought I would love it, but for a budget machine, it's all right, but it could be better. The next machine I'm gonna show you is the Dyson DC07 Precision. This one was an Argos exclusive machine, hence the black colored Cyclone. It's quite a smart looking machine, really. I do think it looks quite nice and professional and top grade. It's, it looks like a serious bit of kit, doesn't it? With the color scheme alone. We've got the jet black cycle and the rest of it's all gone metal grey so i do like that let's plug it in so i can show you how this thing works it's got all the tools on board so you've got the dusting brush which clips on board on the side I dropped it the crevice tool on the back just like any of the dc07 and the stair tool on the side as well it's only got one uh vela strip because it's worn off on the other side whoa the end of the wand is kind of worn, so I might need to find a new wand for this because it's not like a DC-14 onwards where you can just replace the end of the wand. The hose is in pretty clear condition for its age, so it hasn't seen much use at all. The filter's not in bad condition either. It's just a little bit dusty, as you can see. But yeah, it has been maintained. I haven't cleaned this at all. So to empty it, you've got the clip on the top. Then you pull on this little hoop thing to empty out the bin, and there you are. I will need to refurbish this machine at some point, but it doesn't need it yet, but I'm not gonna be using it until I clean it. So that's the thing about this machine. I'm not gonna use it. The brush bar's not in bad condition either, along with the sole plates, so that's a nice sign. And the internal holes are pretty clean as well. So you can see that, and the wheels aren't badly scuffed up either. So yeah, overall this machine looks like it's seen low mileage. Now let's show you this machine in action. And it did all right, even though I just realized right now the salt plate wasn't fitted correctly, so it wasn't sucking down to the floor as much as it could have. So that just shows how well these machines work, even though the salt plate wasn't fitted correctly. So yeah, that's the DC07 Precision. While we're on the subject of DC07s, this is the other one that I've got. This one's the DC07 Click, colored in this pink and purple color scheme by a four-year-old girl called Megan Dwyer in 2003. I believe so it's for cancer leukemia in children so it's a nice charitable machine that Dyson have made and I miss the days they used to do these 
charity machines because their machines were quite colorful and they're supporting charities as well but they don't do that anymore unfortunately as you can see this model is in really nice condition i actually have one of these but the condition of that is nowhere near as good as this so thank you so much to my cousin who picked this up for me really appreciate it really happy with this one it's the nicest one i've ever had so let me just plug this in imagine if they colored the cable and the plug on these models that would have been even better but it is what it is i guess the gray accents were to match the logo and such detail like that as you can see so it gives it a bit of a modern look where it's not fully colorful do you know what i mean and the tools as well there's the no loss of suction sticker with a picture of a son on it it looks quite childish which is nice because it was designed by a child and the end of the wand is much better condition wise than the dci 7 precision that i've got over there so yeah i think this has seen very 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 low mileage compared to the dci 7 precision normally on the back of the cyclone you can see how much these are faded but as a matter of fact the color hasn't discolored at all so yeah i'm really 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 happy with this the hose as well okay so as you can see the hose is in pretty good condition as well it's not that dirty so it hasn't really been used much bit of a pain to put this back because the hose is cold at the moment and therefore the spring in the hose doesn't retract properly but yeah let's look at this it will need a bit of a clean a bit of a refurb but i'm going to do that soon and fully restore this machine so the base of it you've got the brush bar it's not in horrific condition at all the bristles are in decent condition um the base is a bit scuffed but i'm not too fussed about that the internal hose looks absolutely fine as well what i will need to do though is turn this internal hose because it's not actually springing the sole plate against the floor so it won't actually clean as well as it should so if i turn this now there we go that's the spring i was looking for now let's see how well it works if i put some dirt down Forgot to show you the filter on this DC07, so let's have a look at that. And the filter, okay, it looks like a non genuine filter, which will need a bit of a clean, but it has been replaced at some point. So, yeah, that's that. Now let's take a look at the DCO3. This one is in absolutely mint condition. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Not that I can see anyways. I've given it a clean and I've used it briefly, hence a little bit of dust in there. Okay, there are some marks on the bin, but that's the worst damage it has on it really. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a bit of a overview to admire the beauty of this thing, because it's in fantastic condition. I'm really happy with how it is. It's even got the cyclone sticker as well, which is intact. So here it is, you can see that the wand cap is quite massive. This is because you can hang it on the wall <laughs> like that. Even the no bag, no loss suction sticker is mint. The wand and hose are mint. The hose is in pretty clear condition. Okay, it's a bit dusty, but I'm sure that'll clean up nicely. You've got the dual handle design on the early DCL3s. I don't know why they done that actually, because uh, you can't really carry it with the tools on. But it has got the crevice tool, the stair tool. It's just missing the dusting brush, that's all. But yeah, to empty it, you undo the cyclone. And then separate the bin with this little clip right here. And there you can just empty out like a jug. Like that. And yeah, the bin, it says do fall out if you really hit the bin hard against the surface you're trying to empty it on. But that's it. Here's all the engineering and design awards on this machine. And that was only when Dyson was four years old, which is now a 30 year old company, almost. That sticker's in mint condition as well, along with the bumper. And that's with the brush bar. That's in 
brilliant condition as well. Right, let's show you this machine in action. the brass bar coming in there as well, so I'll turn the brass bar off. And there's all the depth. Suction's not too bad either. So yeah, DCO3, standard. Next up, we have this DCR4, another charity machine. Instead of for leukemia in children, this one's actually for meningitis research. As you can see on the head, it shows you the labeling. But yeah, overall condition-wise, it's not too bad. What I have done is polished the bin. Yeah, you can see it's in really nice condition. Looks almost brand new. It's not fully perfect because there are some marks on the bin, as you could probably tell. It's got new filters in it though, so there's a new Pulse motor filter in there and the pre-motor filter fitted, so that's lovely. It is missing the pink stair tool, so I've got a purple, sorry not purple, I've got a silver one on at the moment, but that kind of matches the accents of the machine though, doesn't it? With the grey parts it already has, like the cyclone release cache, the logo, wand release, end cap, the valve pipe, the U-bend, the hose, the cable, and such details. Here's the base of the machine. Yes, even the brush bar is colored pink on like the DC07, which is less colorful, but yeah, it just goes to show how nice the details are on the older Dysons. Even the sole plate's colored fully as well. The internal hose is a bit yellowed. I don't know why, but it is. However, condition-wise, it's perfectly fine. There's no splits in it either. It has a replacement plug on it, unfortunately, but I have got a spare cable somewhere from an early DC07, which uses the exact same plug design and colour except that the DCO7 cable is a bit longer so bonus there you've got the pink crevice tool on the back as you can see and along with the pink dusting brush as well on board so the ones are replacement but I'm happy about that in fact I do prefer the later ones from Malaysia to the British ones because first of all see this plastic right here you could actually bend it and it won't crack secondly you've got the colourful handle grip and also the one cap is a new springless design so see these grooves in there it's designed so you can't actually break the spring inside and the hose is in decent condition as well it's not it's not really fantastic it is quite stained but it has been washed i reckon but yeah you've got the colorful buttons at least now let's give you a demo on this dcr4 Oh yeah, it has a face-up motor as well from a DCO7. I forgot, I added some tape on to the end of the bleed valve to increase the suction when I blocked the holes with my hand. So it lifts the carpet off the floor as well, as you can see. It's quite powerful with a new motor. Originally, I didn't think it was that much more powerful. I couldn't tell any difference, but now that I'm using it on the carpet, it does clamp down better than a normal DCL4 because of that motor. So yeah, marvellous. So there's the DCO4 meningitis edition. Now this yellow Dyson ball here is the first Dyson ball ever made. The DC15 all floors is absolutely perfectly fine. It's actually in good condition apart from the handle which was snapped but I've got a spare one of those anyways. It actually does work, it just needs a good clean. 
although it does have a missing brush bar and end cap on one side but the reason i got this anyways is because i want to convert my animal one into the all fours i'm just sick of that color do you know what i mean so i wanted the color change but yeah it does work it's full of dust at the moment as you can see so i'm not going to be demoing with this on the dirt but what i will do is show you it running so let me just plug this in all i need to do really is yeah i have got a spare cycle and handle but what i really need to find is the end of the wand because obviously that's quite worn isn't it so that's the only thing i need to find so just a new wand or even the end part but yeah other than that it does work the suction is really good as well so is the hose <laughs> it's not really doing much if anything at all because obviously look at that so yeah Yeah, the bristles are quite worn anyways, but luckily I've got a brand new brush for in my animal one. Oh, look at that. There's another problem I can see. Eh, not too fast. <laughs> so yeah, just the yellow bits I'm going to be salvaging from this, and then the rest of it's going to go to scrap. So that's the DC-15 oil floors. So just two more vacuums left to show you now. This one's the Argos Value Range Upright Vacuum. I actually do like this machine, you know. Yeah, so the reason why I like this is because, first of all, it's really robust. The plastic feels quite substantially built. It's not like it's going to break or anything at all. That's one thing I like about it. Along with the lightweight of it as well, it's almost as light as the Hoover Whirlwind. A bit heavier, but it is better quality. And this is your single cyclone design. So you just open up this clip right here. Look, listen. It just sounds high quality. It doesn't sound like cheap plastic at all. The bin and cyclone lifts out. To empty it, you've got this little button right here. There's your trap door. Close that up. And then to separate the, what's it called, thingy bob? The filter, there you are. You just turn that. It's, it, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna do that right now because it looks like it's gonna break. But yeah, you get the gist. You just turn that and then the filter comes out. There's your motor inlet, which has a little thin filter right there. It's a little bit dirty, but not horrific. And then once I clip this back in, listen, it's not like a cheap sounding click at all. I know it sounds weird for a cheap vacuum to be called high quality, but it actually does feel like it. But anyways, there's your crevice tool. Nice and long, but it has got these bleed valves in there, unfortunately, like a DCO7. So I will be taking those. And there's your extension tube as well, which is quite short, but it's better than nothing. Now, the cable, I'm not too sure about the length of this, to be honest. It's been a while since I had one of these. There's your height adjustment. You got it all the way down and all the way up. I don't know exactly. I think there's five high settings, so that's nice. But these were known to snap off because people actually kicked them because they were stiff. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the cable comes at the bottom as well. The rating sticker is on the base. So you can see that this thing is 1600 watts. It's the model VU01 and it's made in, what's that? The 1st of November, 2013. So that's interesting. And the brush bar on the base, right? These brush bars, they were quite stiff. Well, not, a, not amazingly stiff, but yeah, this one actually feels quite soft. That's not what I remember. I remember these being stiff, but they did groom the carpet quite well. And they also sealed down to the floor quite well for a cheap machine. So that was also a nice feature. And what I really like is the hose. It's a really wide diameter, so you've got plenty of airflow coming through this thing. So if I show you this right now, the hose, yeah, it's quite stiff. It's not a stretched hose either, but it is nice and wide. So that's what I do like. And you switch it on, it's kind of loud, by the way, so... Why won't it work? There we are. And the brush bar, yeah, the belt's broken, so I can't demo this at the moment on that dirt. So yeah, unfortunately I can't demo this on a mess test because of the fact the brush bar won't spin so it's not going to really do much of a good job at all if anything so yeah that's the argos vu01 bagless upright 
And finally, we've got the Vax 121, which is the British classic of the 80s and 90s. Actually, you know what? To this day, these are really, really popular because of how popular they were. Well, not popular, but they're still kind of common. They're not exactly rare. So, yeah, the first thing you can see that this hose isn't original. It's from an Electrolux, but it does fit. That's nice. It's got three lugs instead of four. So it can just basically fit in there. Now, it's only got the filter in, inside, along with the bag. So I haven't got the washing parts to convert this into a carpet washer or even a wet vacuum. But yeah, this is your filter, which is basically, it's like a little bed sheet. I've got some defoamer as well, that's nice. There's your reusable bag, which is just a single layer cloth, but it's kind of a thick cloth. Although I heard these are rubbish, so they won't retain suction for that long. And there's a little bracket, which you just slide off to empty the thing. So there's that. It's like a little pillowcase, but you remove the hose. There's your actual bracket for you to put the bag onto. And it's meant to be like a rubber thing to connect it on to hold it in place, but it hasn't got that right now. So it's got a pneumatic Henry bag instead, which is quite tightly fitted on there, so that's nice. So I'm gonna be using that instead. So pop the filter back on, along with the motor unit. Now the thing is, it hasn't got the filter for the motor underneath, but that's not a big issue because it's got filtering before that anyways, with the bag and the pre-motor filter. What I do like about this though is how high quality it feels especially around the handle area compared to my 6130 and the side clips as well just overall it feels really well made so notice how i plugged it in you can see that the red light illuminates to show you that there's power going to the machine and it's basically really simple there's nothing much to say about this really you've got how many casters you got one two three four five casters although two of these are from a henry this is your floor tool as you can see, it's in pretty good condition for its age. And the two ones, along with the plastic electrolux hose. It's quite loud. So the suction of this isn't actually that special. It doesn't really have powerful suction. So I'm gonna switch it off now. So that's the Vax 121. So that's all the vacuums I've got for vacuum saved. Stay tuned to see these machines after being refurbed and demonstrations of these.